As the battle for Mosul enters its sixth month, thousands are still trying to flee Islamic State-controlled areas in the west and reach the safety of government lines. An absolute disaster is in the offing, threatening tens of thousands of lives. Since the beginning of the Mosul offensive in October, with support from US artillery, the number of displaced people from both sides of Mosul has reached 355,000, according to Iraq's immigration minister. God knows they're criminals, all of them criminals. Destruction. God knows, it's overwhelming. We got out from the rubble. My house was gone and I was taken out of the rubble. There's destruction everywhere. Once displaced civilians arrived in the camps, they find out there's no room. Waiting for new ones to be built by the UN Refugee Agency in order to cope with the overwhelming numbers of new arrivals, some refugees find a place in mosques, transformed into provisional camps. Despite all the odds, some residents of liberated eastern Mosul have returned. As the helicopters fly overhead, they have started to rebuild their homes, even as gun and cannon fire rebound off freshly laid walls. I'm glad we're liberated. Our house has been demolished. That's the price we had to pay. Some have decided not to wait for aid to arrive. Of course, the fighting continues nearby, but where can we go? There's a shortage of houses. We have to rebuild our houses, and for the moment we build just temporary homes. Experts expect the heavy fighting to last several more weeks, but Mosul's home builders are providing a tiny sign of recovery.